Hello everyone, uh, Zulu Charlie Fox here uh, again, and uh, this is a hopefully a brief tutorial on how to connect your PL259 to your coaxial cable for your ham radio. Um, actually, this is just going to be a demonstration because I'm using the wrong kind of uh, cable. Actually, this coaxial cable is for the um, Baron. Uh, super antenna if you know that it's locally produced antenna so yeah and it's 75 ohms ang ideal for for um ham radio actually is 50 ohms so but for the um diameter of the coaxial cable it's perfect for this uh pl259 uh connector so i'm going to show you how to put this here, just like this so I already made the <laughs> I tried it first and then uh, I'm going to re I record I'm recording this one so yeah the PL259 comes in three parts so you have your collar I think you call it a collar and then yung susunod is the to get it off the next is your adapter for your uh, cable so if you have a smaller coaxial cable you'll need an adapter so the standard I think is RG Eight, if I'm not mistaken, and then this is the adapter for the RG59 uh, connector or RG8 connector. So yeah, and then this is the connector itself where you get your for the center element of your um, coax. So how do you put this here? Since I'm in the office, I don't really have the perfect tools. So <laughs> what I have here is a pair of sharp scissors. First, you measure your coax from the end, uh, from the tip, in the plug, uh, the PL259. And then you get the base of this, uh, of the PL259 up to here. So we'll mark it or snip it a bit, so we'll know roughly that that's where you're going to take off the outer shield. Um, uh, of the coaxial cable, so you be it better be careful, dahan dahan lang, so that you don't slice the uh, shield of the coax. So you just make sure you get the outer covering or the plastic or of the coax. So yeah, so you just get enough. So that you can pull it off. Yeah. Meantime, it's a bit stubborn, so you slice it. If you have a knife, it would be better. Here, so there. Again. And then you reveal the um, braid on the outside. So now we're going to put it all together. First, you put this collar in. Many people forget this, and then you have to cut this off and then do it all over again so yeah first put this one next put the adapter in yeah, all the way down needs a little more push needs a little more convincing <laughs> Oops, I don't think that's good enough uh, yeah just a little bit more I'm sure you can do it longer. I just this is the matipid way of not wasting too much of the coaxial cable. If you have pliers, mas maganda. You can push it all the way down into the right spot. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's try pushing it with this the edge uh, end of the scissors. E. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, that's good enough for now, <laughs> for a demonstration. And then now you peel back your braid towards the edge. And then, if you can solder it, sure. Then yung ano to hinangin. And then try to avoid it on the threads because you're going to be screwing it together with the 
rest of this one so yeah and then next is you are going to take off the insulation in this part careful not to cut the center conductor of the coax okay. and it's not yet hindi pa siya naputol all the way so dahan dahan very careful and then yun see so that's a center conductor and this is the braid so just twist it now we're going to put the center element screw it on top and tightly if you have again pliers it would be better and now you have your uh, um, PL259 almost complete the next step or the final step would be to put in solder here fill it, fill it in so yeah I think I made the mistake na masyado naman siyang ma exit which on this side naman I overdid it because I was trying to be more economical with the coaxial cable but uh, yun, I think this is better because at least now you can be sure that the center element is all the way outside so that when you put in solder here you can just snip this off and then you're sure that uh, it's connected so yun, uh, short demonstration lang of the uh, PL259 and how you're going to do it if you're going to do it and then uh, again this is the wrong coaxial cable but at least you know how to install it on your next the correct one so uh, thanks for watching uh, hope to see you in the next episode